people throughout the world are seeking comfort but not understanding. And as long as they seek comfort, they will never find spiritual comfort because behind it there is no true understanding of life. And for the understanding of life, you require harmony born out of this vast chaos which is taking place in the life of everyone and in every nation. For the establishment of harmony, you require the you require no binding or limitation on life. Is that enough? I maintain that truth is a pathless land and cannot be approached by any path whatsoever, by any religion, by any sect. Truth being limitless, unconditioned, unapproachable by any path whatsoever, cannot be organized, nor should any organization be formed to lead or coerce people along any particular path. First, understanding that, then you will see how impossible it is to organize a belief, a belief being purely an individual matter. You cannot, and therefore, must not organize it. If you do, it becomes crystallized, dead. It becomes a creed, a sect, a religion to be imposed on others. That is what everyone throughout the world is attempting to do. Truth is narrowed down and made a plaything for those who are weak, for those who are only momentarily discontented. Truth cannot be brought down. Rather, the individual must make the effort to ascend to it. You cannot bring the mountain top to the valley. If you would attain to the mountain top, you must pass through the valley, climb the steeps, unafraid of the dangerous precipices. Organizations cannot make you, make you free or develop the inner man. No man from outside can make you free, nor can organized worship, nor the immolation of yourself for a cause make you free. Therefore, I am not concerning myself with the founding of religions or new sects or the establishment of new theories or new philosophies. And I am concerning myself with the only one essential thing, the true freedom of man. I would help him to break away from all limitations, to free himself from all fears, from the fear of religion, from the fear of salvation, from the fear of spirituality, from the fear of love, from the fear of death, from the fear of life itself. My desire is that men should be unconditionally free, for I maintain that the only true spirituality is the incorruptibility of the self which is eternal. It is the harmony between reason and love. That is the highest reality, that is life itself. True perfection, the harmony of the self, has no law. This must not be translated as to mean chaos. It is above all law and above all chaos because it is the seed of everything that from which all transformation arises and on which all things depend. If you desire the harmony of the self in which is true and that poise of the self in which is true creation, you must care for that self which abides in each and be concerned only with that self. In creating that eternal poise lies the unfoldment of truth. Without understanding, the struggle between mind and emotion creates fear. If you would establish that harmony, then worship, prayers, mediators, the seeking of comfort are unnecessary. You must come to it naturally, as the flower blooms of a clear morning. 
the mind and the heart are of the same substance and you must look to the purification of that substance and make that substance which is thought, which is love, incorruptible. The moment there is in thought separation created by the mind, there is limitation and hence sorrow. The moment there is in love the creation of personal likes and dislikes, there is limitation and hence sorrow. To make the mind and the heart of man free from limitation, free from corruption, is happiness, liberation and truth. <laughs>